What's going on with Math Party people? Anderson here, your math coach. And what we're gonna be doing here in this video is answering the question, how can we handle percent tax and percent discounts? So right here, we're gonna be doing discounts and in the next video, we're doing taxes. And remember, if you're in the program, if you're in the course, you're gonna have access to the worksheets, you're gonna have access to the speed drills and everything else associated with this. So make sure that once you're done, you move forward the right way and keep practicing. So let's go and get to it here. When it comes to percent discounts, Here's the thing, there are always two ways to handle tax and discount problems, two main ways. And in these ways, I'm gonna show you how convenient it actually is and how understandable it actually is. Because there's a big mistake that a lot of people make that I'm gonna help you avoid. So, let's go and start off here. The directions are this, find the selling price of each item, right? Find the selling price of the item. And what we see here is that the original price is $54.99. And the discount is 10%. So what does this mean? Well, what does this mean? A discount of 10% means you're going down by 10%, right? Right. So here are the two ways you can solve. And I'm gonna go through a few problems here to show you how, how to do it, but there's two main ways. Method number one is gonna to be to go ahead and basically find the discount and then subtract. So find the discount, then subtract. Okay? And then the second method, which in my opinion is gonna be the faster way, so pay attention. The second way, the faster way, is going to be this. It's gonna be basically find the percent, then multiply. So here's what I mean. So with method number one, find a discount and then subtract. So look at this, it says, hey, we're taking a 10% discount. So what I'm gonna do over here is I'm gonna go ahead and figure out what 10% of 54.99 is, and then I'll subtract it. So here, let's go ahead and do that right over here. 10% of 54.99. So 10% of 54.99. Let's go ahead and do that right now. So 54.99 times 10%. You can do times uh, 0 0.10, but again, that's the same thing as saying 0 0.1, right? So that's what makes this a little easy when it comes to going ahead and finding what 10% is. Because finding 10%, you're going to have the same exact number, 5499, but instead of doing two decimals, you have three. It's three total decimals, so that'll be boom right there. $5.49, or you can just say $5.50. This right here is your discount. This is your discount, okay? That right there is your discount. What do you do with the discount? Well, think about it. When you're at the store, or you're at, when you're out shopping, if you have a discount and they say, hey, 10% off, you're subtracting 10% from the final price. Boom, that $5.50, that is your discount. We'll now subtract that from the price. So the price over here is $54.99. We'll subtract the $5.50. And once we do that in the math part of people, what we're gonna receive is going to be $49 and uh, looks like it's gonna be uh, forty-nine dollars and forty-nine cents. That's what we'll have. So after we do all that math, that's what we will get. Now, once we're here, my math party people, that's the final answer. That is your final price. Booyah! Right there, final price. So notice what we had to do. This is the first way. Again, this is not the fastest way to do it, but it is a method. So what we did was we found ten percent. We found the discount, and then once we found the discount. We applied it and then we went ahead and subtracted it and we're good. Now, here's a faster way. The faster way is gonna be, hey, find the percent and then go ahead and multiply. So what do I mean by that, my math party people? Look at this. If you're dealing with a 10% discount, if you're dealing with a 10% discount, what that means is you're discounting 10% from the whole thing. And what did I teach you? When it comes to percents, the whole thing the original thing is 100%, right? Yeah. So if you're doing a 10% discount, that means you're doing 100% minus 10%, and that equals 90%. That's what you're paying. That's what you are paying. That's the final price. The final price is 90%. 90% of what? 90% of the original price. So right here, what you'll do is your original price is $54.99 and you're multiplying that by 
And again, to multiply by a percent, you turn it into a decimal, and that turns into 0 0.9 right there. And that's really it, my math party people. Understanding that when it comes to taxes and discounts, you're always starting from 100%. That's the biggest lesson. That's the biggest key, okay? So we're gonna apply this in different problems coming up, but let me show you how we'll get the same exact answer. Notice how we're doing less work. Here we had one big step, a second step. Over here, we just have one step. Go ahead and multiply. Nine times nine is 81. All right, sounds good. Then nine times nine over there, that's gonna be 81. Add the eight, that is 89. Oops, right there, 89, so carry the eight. Then we have four times nine, that's gonna go ahead and be what? 36. Then 36 carry the eight, we have 44. And now we have five times nine, which is 45. 45 carry the four is 49. Booyah. And so from here what we see is that we have one, two, three total decimals. One, two, three total decimals. So we have 49.491. And because we're dealing with money, we don't really care about this last decimal place. That'll be 4949. And guess what? Oh, look at that. That was the same exact answer that we got before. Same exact answer that we got before. And so that's what I'm talking about, my math party people. I wanna make sure that you understand. Taxes and discounts, the main rule is always start from 100. Discounts, you subtract. Taxes, you add. Just like that, all right? Just like that. So let's go ahead and go through a few more problems here, and then I'm gonna let you move forward into the worksheet, try these problems out yourself, and then move into the speed drills to really test your confidence, and then keep going from there. So let's look at this next one here. The original price is $3,500, and the discount is 20%. So there are two, again, main ways. One way is to find 20% of the 3,500 and then subtract it because it's a discount. You're taking it off, you're discounting it. Or just go ahead and find the, the end percent. What is the ending percent that you're paying? If it's a 20% discount, do some simple math here. 100% minus the 20% discount right over here my handwriting is atrocious today but 100 percent minus the 20 percent discount means you are paying 80 percent you are paying 80 percent of the original cost and so that's it the problem here is going to be 80 percent of 3500 and so let's go ahead and do the math here 3500 times 0 0.8 because again 80 percent is 0 0.80 but you don't need that final zero you don't need it Let's go ahead and calculate and be done. Zero times eight, zero. Zero times eight, zero. Five times eight, 40. Carry the four. Three times eight, 24. Carry the four, 28. And so, booyah. There we go. We have ourselves all that, but then we see that we have one decimal place here, one decimal place back. Final price, 2,800. Right there, answer choice C, and you're done. That's really it, my math party people. It is that fast, it is that quick, it is that straightforward, as long as you understand how percentages work, especially when it comes to markups and discounts. So let's go ahead and do one more here. Let's see, the original price here is $7.99. We wanna take away 10%. Sounds good. So, or we wanna take away 20%, excuse me. So to take away the 20%, again, two options. You can figure out what 20% is, then subtract it, or, you can subtract the 20% from 100% and then find that percent instead. Either way is gonna work my math party people, either way. So let's go ahead and do the math here. Let's go ahead and get that done. We're gonna say, hey, discount of 20% means 100% minus 20% equals 80%. So that's what you're paying. And that's all I gotta do. That's all I gotta care about. 7.99 times 80%. And this will give me my answer straightforward. One shot and we're good. So here, nine times eight, that's gonna go ahead and be 72. Nine times eight, 72, carry the seven, 79. Seven times eight is 56, carry the seven is 63. And so there it is. And we have ourselves one, two, three. One, two, three. We've got ourselves $6.39. You can ignore that right there. And there's your answer. The answer here, is C. And so my math party people, look, this isn't terribly crazy, right? If you've been following the video so far and you've learned how to calculate regular percents and do all the normal things and you've worked your way up to this point, 
you should be looking at this saying, hey, this is actually it's pretty doable. It's pretty doable, pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Now, when it gets more complicated is when you have a problem, like a word problem, where you're doing a tax and discount at the same time. A lot of people like to add the discount and the tax together. No, 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 no. First, you find the price after the tax, then you find the price after the discount. Or you can find the price after the discount, then the tax. Either way, you'll get the same answer. But you don't combine those taxes and discounts. You perform them separately, multiplying both times. Got to make sure you know that. But there it is in the math part of people. I went through three examples here. But I hope you see that this is actually very straightforward. Start with 100%. With discounts, you go down. Taxes, you go up from 100%. I'm Coach Anderson, loving helping you out. Let's keep doing the right thing here, practicing, working forward, and letting me know if you have any questions. I'll see you in the next video.